Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing how to install Google Drive file stream on your computer, Windows computer specifically. So you can see here, I already opened the Chrome browser or any of the browser, and we need to download first the Google Drive um, file stream from internet or Google's website. And as you can see here, the first link is there. Uh, let's go to the second link, Google Drive, download Google Drive, click on this one and download Drive for Desktop, we'll choose this one. So it's downloading directly. So I'll put the link in the description so that you can directly go to that link and download the Drive uh, file setup. So we need to wait it for, uh, wait it to finish. Let's um, approximately four minutes it will take. So I'll come back after finishing the video finishing the download so it's already downloaded let's uh, install the uh, download file you can directly install from here or you can go to the downloads and find your um, Google Drive if you didn't find it in the uh, bottom left side so I click on this one so we'll have to wait for it to come uh, for the installation You need to click yes if you if it's asking for any administration privileges you just need to click your admin as username and password if it's a domain computer you can also add an application shortcut to your desktop if you want i don't want this one and i don't want this desktop shortcut to google docs sheets and slides so i just need to click on install that was an offline installer so it will be installed very quickly you can see here it was installed in a few seconds. Google Drive successfully installed. Close. So here we need to sign into the Google Drive. The next part is uh, sign into Google Drive. So let's click on sign in with browser. Um, I'll open in the Chrome browser for better. For that I need to switch my default browser because it will automatically open this session on the default browser so let me just choose the Google Chrome and I'm gonna run over here again sign in this time it opened on the Chrome browser so um, you can click on the if the email is already there you can click that Click on that email, maybe it's already signed in your Chrome browser. Or you can also use another account if you want to put another account for uh, another account for sign in or for the Google Drive file stream, you can go with that one. In my case, I already have this one is uh, signed in here. So you just need to click on that one. And if it's asking for sign in, you'll have to provide your password as well. That's fine. After that, you just need to click on sign in. So here once the Google Drive is already done, so if you come over here and go to the Google Drive, you can see here open preferences that are showing up. Even if it's not showing up, you can just come here and click on the open settings and you will have to see the preferences. In the preferences, you can see Google Drive. There are two ways to sync my drive connect from Google Drive to camera stream files or mirror files. The difference is stream files store all my drive files in the cloud and access them from your computer whenever we need. Choose files and folders to make available offline. Any changes to sync automatically. Mirror files store all drive files in the cloud and as well as on our computer. All files and folders will be available offline. Any changes sync automatically. The difference is it will consume our uh, hard disk space because it, one copy is available locally always even if there is no internet. The first option is streaming the files so that it will stream the uh, files, you can see all the files, but whenever there is a requirement, we, for example, you click on a folder or file, it will download the content from the internet directly and it will show up. So that is different. Normally I use stream files because, um, especially in Google Drive, I have 100 GB or more than 100 GB, and I, I don't want to keep everything on my computer. So click on OK. Stream files is the default option, but in case if you want to make it available offline always, so even if you are, um, if you don't have internet or um, 
you are offline for a couple of weeks then you can go with the mirror files option right now i'm going stream files as i explained in the uh, video so just stream files and the thing is you need to find where you can find so you, you will have to open your computer this pc and here we will see google drive g so if, I, if you open this one you can see my drive is there and whatever there you can see there under this one all the folders files everything will be listed under my drive folder you can even create a shortcut to the desktop so that it will be very easy for you to open uh, when you need all right i hope you understood the video understood the concept and thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye